so welcome to a new video friends in this video we are going to talk about hira so we will uh, learn here what is hira and why it is important to create a hira uh, before uh, doing any job so hira stands for h i r a hira stands for hazard identification and risk assessment hazard as i told you is the presence of any object or the situation that may cause harm loss or damage to any one and what is risk risk is the probability of occurrence of any accident harm or damage or loss to anyone so considering these two things now let's try to understand what is hira and why it is important to create a hira uh, before uh, doing any job i am taking an example of height test whereby a person goes to a certain height of 24 feet and then comes back with the help of a monkey ladder so the whole process involves risk of falling when the person is climbing uh, using the monkey ladder going up and coming down there is a risk of fall so how much is the risk how much damage uh to the person can be caused uh if he falls from a certain height so this is a matter of assessment so first thing is that we have to find out the hazards involved in the process of height test like in the height test if we talk the person has to walk on a rail 6 inch high so while he is walking uh he might step out and can get a sprain in the ankle so the risk of a sprain is there and the possibility how much possibility is there if you see the possibility is less and how much severity is there so as because height is only 6 inches the severity can be expected to be low so the score of severity on the scale of 5 and the scale of probability on the scale of 5 and then multiplying probability with severity will give us the risk the amount of risk involved in walking on the 6 inch of rail so that is how we calculate the risk involved as i told you risk is the likelihood of any injury uh, that can be caused in certain situation in certain process of doing activity hazard is the presence of object or the situation that may cause harm as i told you so after uh, walking on the rail the person has to move to the 2 feet of height whereby Uh, another rail is there but height is more so the risk is more there if he falls from 2 feet of the height the danger of getting injury is more so the severity could also be more in this case what is the likelihood likelihood is less but then that is the test uh, one has to pass through after doing this the person moves to a height of again 2 and a half feet okay so after completing 2 and a half feet of height walking he reaches to 8 feet of the height that is uh, uh, at a appreciable height 8 feet is a height which is more than 6 feet so any height more than 6 feet uh, if the person is walking on and that is also a rail so at the 8 feet of the rail when the person is walking he should use full body harness 
so full body harness has to be tucked in in a support system that could anchor the person's body weight when he falls so that is how this thing is planned now what is the uh, possibility of uh, injury at 8 feet of the height so these everything the presence of the uh, situation of the object that can cause harm to the person are identified and that is called hazard identification in the process and ultimately the person goes to the 24 feet of the height through the monkey ladder as uh, in the beginning itself i told you and comes back from that height after walking on the uh, platform at 24 feet of the height so the entire process in the entire process is hazard identification and risk assessment is done so it is a kind of document uh, followed by the company the format could uh, be a little different from one company to another but the whole idea of uh, hazard identification and risk assessment is that uh, what are the uh, hazards involved in uh, in uh, performing any activity is involved and what we could do to mitigate the uh, risk of uh, uh, harm or injury or accident in the same process so i uh, hope you have understood what is the importance of hira hira hazard identification and risk assessment and this is a mandatory document uh, in activities important activities critical activities or any activity that has the uh, potential to harm anyone any person working in that area so uh, thank you very much much for uh, uh, listening me uh, patience fully and uh, being with me uh, patience fully uh, i would uh, request you to like share and subscribe for this video for this channel and stay tuned with me thank you so much